Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video. I'm super excited to receive the brand new group by and the pivot by functions. I've been waited for some few weeks after the announcement by the Excel product team. So in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how we can use the group by function to speed up your data analysis in Excel. Therefore, let's get started. We're going to use this sample data set, which is officially stored as an Excel table. I can come to the table design and see the data as the meaningful table name. So let's come to cell H5 and type in the group by. Now, the function aggregate values by row fields. So press the tab key. But the first thing you're going to see a lot of arguments in this group by function. Now, don't be intimidated. There are only three mandatory arguments the row fields, values, and function. The fields headers, total depth, sort order, filter array inside the square bracket are optional arguments. So now you're going to pay attention to this row field. This simply means we can actually have more than one field. For instance, I can have more than the product payment field. And then for the values, I can actually give not only a single numerical column, but even multiple numerical column. So for the row field, we want to see the group by of the product payment type unit price and the sales amount so for the row fields i'm going to come to the cell b5 then alt down the shift key right arrow key control shift down arrow key to select downwards so i'm going to press control backspace to jump to the top now this gives us what's called a structured referencing syntax which is peculiar to excel tables so i'm going to come here and put in a comma so for the values i'm going to click on cell d5 control shift right arrow key control shift down arrow key Control backspace to jump to the top, put in a comma. And of course, for the function, of course, we have several kind of functions. They widely use some function, the percent of average, median, and so on. Now we want to perform this group by using the sum function. So press the tab key, put in a comma. Now for the next argument, the fourth argument, feed headers. Now we can actually choose to show the headers after we've included it. So I'm going to choose this yes and show. So press the tab key. That's going to give us three comma and then for the total debt now we want to see the group by and include the grand total and the subtotals so i'm going to choose these two and then let's close the bracket for now now let's see what happens i'm going to press control enter that is super amazing and of course you can see this amazing conditional formatting that automatically highlights some key points now this is basically the headings at the top and then we can see all the subtotals are highlighted which is super amazing so we can see the subtotal for the camera product and of course we can see the total units the total price and of course the sales amount so for the drone products so we can see everything i lighted and for the laptop i can even go down and you can see for the microwave um, refrigerator for the smartphone at the bottom here and then we have some other products the um, speaker and the tablet so this is quite amazing and of course this is actually where the formula lives okay so all other cells are still ranges okay so we can't actually delete when i try to delete from here it's not going to work okay we can only delete from here and when i press ctrl z everything is back so this is basically a quick start up to the brand new group by function in excel i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you and bye for now cheers